Hello, in this video we will deploy two Python application to AWS uh, Elastic Container Service and one of the application will have REST API and another application uh, will query this REST API. Uh, here are the applications. This one is the first application which contains REST API. So it contains just one REST API which returns message hello world. Let's start it. And we have the second application over here, which queries this API. It's right now on localhost. So let's, let's save it. And then let's launch it. We're here, then let's try to query it. And we can see that we were able to query uh, the REST API from the first application. Okay, and now what we have to do, we have to take these two applications and deploy it to AWS Elastic Container Service. Let's start. Uh, first of all, I will put back uh, the domain name, it will be like this. And uh, another thing, let's go to my AWS. I've got here to repositories. I already created uh, images from the apps which I show it. You can see how to create images in AWS in my previous uh, videos. I explained it. Uh, that's why right now I will concentrate only on creating the a AWS Elastic Container Service. Okay, uh, let's go to Elastic Container Service. Let's open a new tab because we will need later uh, this URIs. Now let's go to Elastic Conta Container uh, Service. And now let's create a cluster. We will call this cluster, for example, um, test3, for example. Uh, we will say that we are going to use EC2 instances because we want to deploy as containers on this EC2 instances. We will choose operating si uh, system Amazon Linux 2. Uh, let's choose, for example, T3A medium. Um, and I think that's all. All other things will be by default. And let's create our cluster. And let's wait until it's created. OK, the cluster has been created. And now what we have to do, we have to create a task definition. Let's go to task definition. Okay, let's create a new task definition. New task definition. Uh, here, let's call it, for example, test4. We will say that we will use Amazon EC2 instances. Most important thing, if you want two containers to be able to see each other in the network, you need to choose bridge over here, network mode bridge. Uh, and then all other things we will skip Let's, let's go to containers. Uh, the first one, let's add a container which contains REST API, this one. Let's take the link and then let's call it my API, for example. Then let's see, yes, we have uh, log collection enabled. Uh, then we have container network service, let's call it my API. And that's all with this container. Let's add the second container. This one will contain our app, which queries our REST API. Put here the image, we will call it my app. Uh, and now we will enable log collection. And in container network settings, we will call it my app. Now let's create the tag definition. And now let's go to our cluster and try to create a service from the task definition which we created. Uh, let's go over here to family. Let's choose task 4. 
let's call it for example task for service and now all we have to do we have to push uh, the create button and wait until our service is ready okay our service has been deployed now let's open the service and have a look at the logs logs uh, let's open my app and we will see that we have the following error that name or service not known my api and that's correct because we did not configure everything in the task definition uh, in the old ui we had a field called link and in this link you had to write for my app you, you had to write that it, it references my api but in the new app this functionality is not in ui that's why we need to add it to the json of task definition okay let's go back to our task definition test 4 we will choose this one and then create new revision with json and over here we will write links and then there will be an array of links which we, we, we should be able to see in our network and here it will be my API and that's it we need to add comma over here and then we can create it it's created now let's go back to clusters and then let's just uh, choose uh, the button called update we will choose second and push update now we have to wait until our app is updated let's wait okay as you can see our app was deployed uh, now let's go to logs and see the messages and as you can see let's open my app we have our hello world message that's it for this video that's how you can configure two apps in elastic container service which uh, have to see each other in the network thank you for watching bye bye